Um, okay, so so I've got some of these qualities of an invest entrepreneur. I've got the foundation, okay. all right, for my ride sharing service, which is going to change the world. Um, what comes first? Does the entrepreneur come first? Or does the product come first? And what I mean by that is, like, if I say I've got this great idea, does that make me an entrepreneur, or or do I then have to go out and actually make it happen before I should really call myself an entrepreneur? Well, um, if you'll allow me, um, I'll answer two questions. One that you didn't ask, but I think that you're implying, um, or maybe you're not implying. Maybe I just want to answer it, but. Um, I've had this debate so many times whether entrepreneurs are born or made, whether it's nature or nurture. And of course, it's a subjective question with no answer, but I have my opinion. Won't surprise you. Um, I think entrepreneurs are born. And I think your mind is wired in certain ways. We see children and we say, that person is musically gifted. She just has a right brain that just, she can do what other people yeah. can't do. She's musical. That kid mm. is good at sports. He was just a natural. That guy was just good at mathematics. I think all of our brains are wired in a certain way. And, of course, you can be better at anything. So 10,000 hours of basketball, you can shoot really well, but this kid ain't ever going to dunk a ball, right? So right. there's certain physical limitations to how we're wired. And when I look at these skill sets of leadership, being self-confident, being able to persuade other people, against all rational reason to join your company and join your cause and take a lower salary than they could get elsewhere and to get the press and to, for people to give you money and, and for a competitor or a biz dev partners to do this, whatever you have to do, like that leadership trait, it's just not innate in everybody. And the willingness to accept risk, I, I have an older brother who just they're in the headlights when it comes to risk. Mm. He's very good at other things, but he just can't accept risk. He's not wired that way. It's yeah. we. He's a year and a half older. We were raised together. Mm. Chemically, he's just not wired for risk. I, for whatever reason, was wired for risk, and um, and you know, ability to take vagueness and turn it into ideas. Ability to. Um, you know, have certain attention to detail. Like if I if I go through all the traits that I think it takes, or you know, the, the chutzpah, like the ability to kind of just push things a Make little bit happen. too far, yeah. but not not further. Um, I don't think everyone's born with that. And I see people in leadership roles who can't handle the stress. And I just think sometimes people aren't chemically wired for that. So that isn't the question you asked. But I do believe that not everybody is made to be an entrepreneur or a CEO entrepreneur. And if you're not, there's no shame in that. It's not the world's greatest job. And so if your passion is marketing, if your passion is engineering, if your passion is selling, if your passion is whatever it is, but you don't necessarily want to have to do all those other things, there's no shame in that at yeah. all. Um, what was your question again?